Yeah. 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 It, it, it just means sorry, from sorry, everything. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Can you answer one question, please? I don't know. In all honesty, you just ask me now. Why, why do Jews always pick up stones? stones yeah, in John what chapter really? 8, verse number 40, Jesus says, You who are determined to kill me, a man who spoke the truth which I heard from God. So Jesus spoke the truth which he received from God. Is why they wanted to stone him. Because Jesus says in Matthew chapter 23, um, you who stoned the prophets that were sent to them. So none of those prophets actually claim to be God, but they stoned the prophets that were sent to them. And the, the Quran confirms this as well, that they killed prophets. That because he spoke the truth, that is why they stoned him. In John chapter 8, verse 14. No, it doesn't make sense, everything else. Come again, blasphemy. The, very, yeah. the, the claim blasphemy is very clear in the Bible. <laughs> Okay, the term blasphemy is very clearly used over here when they're stoning Jesus. They didn't use blasphemy for anybody else. Any of the other prophets, and I would ask, go and refer to it, check it out. Did they use blasphemy as a term? To but, but was it justified? Prophets? According to Jesus, it doesn't no, it appear to be justified. So many times they picked up stones for blasphemy. In fact, he was crucified. But it blasphemy. doesn't mean it was justified. At the end of, at the end of Mark, um, you know, uh, when, the, when, the, when he's brought before the Because the Bible priest. speaks about blasphemy against Moses. So it uses blasphemy against Moses. This is so against you can God. This is you, against God. So blasphemy okay. doesn't okay. always now, mean against God. Against Moses, it can also be an ambassador, Moses, or messenger okay. of God. Okay. Talking against Moses, nobody was stoned for that. God himself punished people. A person right? could be stoned now, for that's, blasphemy. That's different. No, I'm talking about blasphemy. But it doesn't mean that it's justified. There's a punishment. Blasphemy, blasphemy against God. We talk about. Are you, are you, are you, are you have to go, right? Michael, do you want to continue? What? Do you want to continue? I'll just come back in five minutes. No, it's too good for me. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I'll, 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 I'll let you speak, so it's fine. No, it's alright. So, I'll, I'll speak for a little while, not for long now, yeah? Cool. Uh, and we're just having a conversation. Oh, is this um, Amy's? Okay, do you want me to do it? Yeah, I, I saw you were talking. Oh, okay. Do, do you want to speak as well, Amy? Yeah, I'm trying to film today. I'm sure your audience is bored of me. No, no. <laughs> yeah, let, let Amy They're get bored of me. Well, take on, over, Amy. <laughs> well, for, for me, it's not enter, It's not about entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, religious... Um, blasphemy isn't just meant for God, uh, even though that's the highest form of blasphemy. Uh, but blasphemy can also be against God's messenger, because they're sent as representatives of God. And so to reject them is to also reject God, because they come with the word yeah, of God. Aaron in the book of Numbers, they yeah. rebelled, horrid, that's an Aberimelon. Yeah. The ground opened up and swallowed them, they went against God's chosen. Exactly, yeah. So these are different forms of uh, religious blasphemy. Um, and the Jews um, also accused Jesus, like in John chapter 5, uh, of breaking the Sabbath. But just because they accused him of Sabbath, breaking the Sabbath, didn't mean Jesus actually did break the Sabbath. So just because the Jews accused Jesus of claiming to be God, doesn't mean he actually claimed to be God. So when you say the Father and I are one, meaning of the same essence, would you say that's a falsehood, or he didn't use those words, or he never meant it to be like, how do you... Yeah, um, so he never uses the word essence or substance, but these are terminologies that came later that were read into John's Gospel. Uh, but in John, Jesus is like the mirror image of God, so he perfectly obeys God and represents God. So when you see Jesus, you're reminded of God. But um, J John doesn't say that Jesus is of the same nature or substance or essence of God. What John means in this context is that when a believer comes to faith, um, God sees to it that the person remains in faith. And Jesus, as God's messenger, also sees to it that the person uh, remains in faith. So I and the Father are one. Well, what about when it says, then, if you have seen me, you've seen the Father? So that's talking about his nature, which essence is a part of his nature. Think about it. Uh, well, Jesus isn't the Father. No, I never uh, said he was the Father. He's supposed to be the Son of God yeah, in John's they're Gospel. They're the same essence as Christians, uh, that's what we believe. So if he yeah. says the Father and I are one, if you have seen me, he's not talking about what he looks like physically. Yeah, he's talking yeah. about my nature. If you've seen the way I've been with 
for everybody. This is how my father would be, Zach Gunman. I'm, I'm, yeah, whatever he done, if, if the roles were reversed and God the Father was the one who came to him, he would have done exactly what Jesus done, no different. So can you say, like, could the Father say, if you've seen me, you've seen the Son? Or could the Holy Spirit say... Yeah, if the say, Father came down instead of the Son, yes. Uh, and if, if the, the Father, Father said, whoever has seen me, you has seen the Son of God. Then I said to you, if, if Father came instead of the Son, yeah, if the yeah. Son had remained in heaven and the Father came down, and why can't he say, yeah, if you've seen me, you've seen my son? Because you have to reconcile that with what Jesus says elsewhere in John chapter 5, yeah. verse 35, where Jesus says, the Father who sent me, you've neither seen him nor heard his voice at any time. Uh, so when Jesus says he that has seen me has seen the Father, it doesn't literally mean that he's the Father. It just means he that has understood me, has understood who God is. So you, Thomas, wouldn't be asking me, you know, show us God or show us the Father and you'll be sufficient. Because I'm the way, the truth and the life, it, no sorry, man it doesn't, else. It doesn't explain how, you know, Jesus' uh, sins are forgiven in his name. And repentance is in, in his name, right? It doesn't explain. Like, I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But the message of Jesus, like Muslim people, they claim the message of Jesus was to worship one God. But that's not the gospel. The gospel is that you're saved by his crucifixion and that he can give you a new life. He can give you the Holy Spirit. So the way it happens in the gospel of Luke is that Jesus is like a religious martyr. Mm. And as a result, that brings about repentance because people repent because they wrongly crucified Jesus and that brings about remorse and so they repent back to God and they turn back to God and as a result their sins are forgiven. But it's, it's in his um, name, the forgiveness is in his name. Like, do, do you understand? It's not in the name of Allah, it's in the name of Jesus. You you have to agree that it's written in the Bible. Well, he made a covenant, made a new well, covenant with his is, son. Can you get the verse again? Maybe he can comment on that at the end of the yeah, it yeah. Do you recite the Lord's Prayer? Yeah. So in the Lord's Prayer, there's no mention of in the name of Jesus. It's just in the name of the Father. Like we no, sanctify. You to the Father in the name of Jesus. Yeah? Well, no, Lord's Prayer in Matthew chapter 6. Look at the, uh, the verse that I was trying to ask Muslim people today, but they wouldn't answer. Oh, yeah, Luke sorry, 24. It's Luke 24 here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I was going to mention um, yeah, Matthew okay, chapter 6. Um, yeah. Jesus says, yeah, um, Father, um, holy or sanctify is your name um, your your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven oh, sorry thank you um, so, 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 so Jesus says um, you know father um, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us so he says holy is your name and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. So there Jesus says to pray to the Father, but it's not in the name of Jesus, but it's just simply in the name of the Father, whose but name he is never holy. In the name of the Father. So why do you think Jesus says uh, that tried in the So name Luke of the chapter twenty four yeah, in the name of the Father, but he says that anything you ask in my name will be done. That's quite That's in John, isn't it? Um, but but the prayer is still directed yeah, to to, to the God. Huh? The, the prayer is still directed to God, yeah. but it's asking God the Father in the name of Jesus. Yeah, because that's the Trinity. So why that's does not Jesus Trinity because there's no mention of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Spirit is what comes to the it and it dwells in us. Huh? Dwells in, the Holy Spirit dwells yeah. within our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. That's what prompts us to. But that verse pray. doesn't mention the Holy Spirit. Not, yeah, like that. No, sorry, I'm just why, wondering. Like, why, uh, is, why, do you, why did Jesus say right? anything you ask in my name will be done? Yes, yeah, so it, it, to the Father in Jesus' name. Yeah. But the prayer is not directed to Christ. Yeah. It's directed to God yeah, the Father. But why does it, if, if Jesus was unnecessary, why does Jesus he need Jesus was mention? God's special chosen servant. Yeah, so his, God, God loved Jesus. Yeah. So because right. Jesus is God's beloved. Right. Can I read? I think, sorry, if sorry, sorry. Before, before you read that, thing, uh, sorry, sorry, that, before you read that, I think even yeah. the Muslims too, yeah. they actually, uh, they actually pray to God, yeah. or to, to God, and you know, like say in the um, like just yeah, God in, can forgive in, them in the name of your holy prophet. Of the prophet yeah. You know, like because yeah. it's Muslims yeah, do the love, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's why. That too, I mean, that's it? why, in my opinion, that is shirk. That's because you actually have to. That's why my is personal that opinion. Oh, okay. That the fact that you have to mention 
this person's name when he's just a human. You know, when you do your, one thing, no, one, thing no, one last one, quick one. Yeah. If she's if 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 she's just saying that Christians in the future are to say our Father, that mm. means we he, he we're children of God, mm. which we weren't prior to having Christ as our mm. Savior. But on number two, it's also having Jesus acknowledging that he has a father mm -hmm. but the Quran for example doesn't accept Jesus as being a son of God mm. the, the son true of in, a, in son. a physical that's what I'm saying so there's, there's a distinction there that yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, no, I want to I I ask, ask you because you know the, I, and I, I think yeah, you know, earlier, first no of all I want to say you know we love Muslim people like so we're not yeah. here to attack but anyone exactly, but we're yeah. going to defend the Bible because the thing is uh, in, at the end when when Jesus resurrected, right, he said to the um, to the apostle that this is what I meant when I said while I was with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets and in the Psalms was destined to be fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understand the scripture and said to them, so it is written that Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that in, the, in his name repentance for forgiveness of sins will be preached to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You're witnesses to him. So, yeah. it's, so you're witnesses to this. Sorry, I'm freezing. No, it's so, cold, yeah. the, I mean, what, <laughs> so specifically it, yeah, on this yeah, comment, yeah. what do you think yeah, it means, we'll like, this oh, comment? Okay. You, know, you know it already. Yeah, 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 we'll yes, yes. So, so, so this is saying that Jesus, that the Christ, the Messiah, you. Uh, you know, su suffered as a martyr and God vindicated this, his Messiah by raising him from the dead. Mm -hmm. And so as a result, in his name, the disciples, his followers, will, will preach uh, repentance, mm. uh, repentance to God. Okay. Uh, uh, so in the, in the book of Acts, when Peter delivers that sermon, um, he, tell, he tells them to repent for you've crucified God's holy servant whom God raised. And even in Luke's gospel, you read that after the crucifixion, people were going back in repentance, in remorse. They were like, um, you know, ba banging their, uh, their chest. You know, like, what have we done? You know, we've crucified this innocent man, um, as it's mentioned in Luke's gospel, roughly, um, that this man was innocent. Um, so as a result, because of the now feeling remorseful and sorry, God sees that and forgives their sins. It's not speaking about substitutionary atonement. No, it, it's... It, um, it's not saying that Jesus was crucified for your sins. Mm -hmm. it, it's saying yeah, we, that we, people are repentant mm -hmm. because they rejected him. Mm -hmm. And so they turn back to God in repentance and God sees that and forgives their sins as a result. Mm -hmm. The thing is, Michael, sorry, because the microphone is this way. Oh, sorry. yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, the, the thing is, um, I, I hear what you're saying, but yeah. it is, is a divine power. You know, th this is what Jesus meant by that verse, you know, that, um, you know, that Jesus had to die and resurrect, and then that's the job done. Mm -hmm. that, and, you know, that's why, that, that's the gospel, basically. This is why. Do you remember what happened when Jesus died, what it says in, in the gospel? What happened is that the sky was uh, darkened, and the spirits came. Um, the spirits came from uh, from out of the tombs. And then the centurion said, "Truly, this was the Son of God." Okay. In, in Luke, he says, "Truly, this man was innocent." Mm -hmm. In Mark, it says, "Truly, this man was the Son yeah, of God." Yeah, because he was sinless, but he, he he counts as a perfect sacrifice. That's what the Bible says: "By his stripes we're healed." And my theory, Not in Luke's gospel, but yeah. No, no, in the Bible. But my theory that I was explaining to this gentleman is that basically um, the reason I, you know, Jesus says, Jesus, yeah, he said, no one has come from heaven except, has gone to heaven except the one who came from heaven. So my theory. What um, about Elijah or Enoch? Huh? What wasn't Elijah taken up into heaven by a whirlwind? Um, he and was, Enoch. but he could have died on his way to heaven. It just says that God took him. But the, the point is that the. Um, you know, the, the prophets, uh, all the righteous people, they ended up in Sheol, right, and in Hades. And how do we know when, um, we know... What about Abraham? Was it Abraham? 
like the, the, the rich man Lazarus when he died yes, they and he see sees each other. They could see each and other, Abraham's so. in heaven. Yeah, but he wasn't in heaven. That was a parable, wasn't it? Uh, it was a, but they could see each other. So I think by Jesus' death, all those that died, um, the righteous that died, they were actually released. That's why, how do you explain the tombs open and the spirits came out when he, when he died? Uh, well, well, it's part of this kind of uh, apocalyptic type uh, vision that Matthew sets up where um, at the time of Jesus' crucifixion um, those that were dead are now resurrected in their tomb and then they don't leave their tombs only until after Jesus himself has been resurrected uh, and then they go into Jerusalem and appear uh, to many uh, but m m many um, conservative scholars uh, such as uh, William Lane Craig, uh, Michael Lucona, don't believe that this is actually historical, but they, they think that this is more part of a literacy device that Matthew's employing um, as part of this kind of symbolic um, So what is the vision. message of the gospel to you then? Because for me, for Christians, it's very yeah. clear that you know, you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you receive the Holy Spirit and you're born again. What is, what do you read? Because obviously you To believe in the kingdom, to, to, to believe in the kingdom of God, to okay. repent and to believe that yeah. the kingdom of God is coming. Uh -huh. But do you agree? I mean, the Bible says that we are washed away by the blood of Jesus, right? So I understand you don't agree with this, but it's very really clear. That? Huh? Who said that? The Bible tells uh, which, you. Who, who, which one? We watch, but it, yeah, find it because I can't. I'm freezing. Yeah. Um, so, okay. No, no, you don't need to. You don't need to open it. I'm just saying that like, in Luke or. We will find it for you. Okay. But do you he probably, he probably knows where it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, can, I can mention it's Paul. No, no, Paul, Paul says it. Mm -hmm. But, right, um, but I'm not that aware. Verse, even that verse okay. that, you know, that I read to you, that this is what he said, that, you know, that Christ had to die, be resurrected, and that forgiveness is in his name. You know, that's why Jesus says, you know, that um, there is no other name above, you know, <laughs> Jesus' name. It's, it's a divine name. And this is why the demons even recognized him. They knew that he was the son of God. He could cast out demons. And obviously other people can cast out demons, you know. It's not just Jesus, but it's done in his name. So he has power over this kingdom and over the kingdom below the yeah, kingdom yeah. above. Do you agree that that's what the Bible says? I understand you don't believe in it, but that's it, what the it, Bible It depends says. on what, what, which section of the New Testament you're reading, because uh, as you know, the New Testament uh, wasn't written all by the same person, uh, but it was written by um, different like religious communities at different times, um, written uh, a couple of uh, decades. Uh, and um, the, uh, it, Peter in the book of Acts says that Jesus was a man uh, accredited to you by God with miracles, wonders and signs, uh, which God did through him. So it wasn't Christ, but it was God through Jesus. Um, uh, Peter, yeah, in Acts chapter 2, verse 22. No, uh, uh, it was, it traditionally it's thought to be written by um, like a companion of Paul. Um, yeah, so yeah. in John, so, but it's not just, uh, even in Hebrews it says, but in John it tells you that, uh, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. So it's very clear. Which, what's the reference to that, by the way? Uh, 1 John, 1 John Oh, 7. the first epistle of John, yeah. yeah. So you were close. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so, so J J John um, is like um, the, the, the epistle of John. Um, this is like from the joining community um, that was. Um, yeah, knowledge yeah. of all these men is. <laughs> yeah. they, they, so there's the different. Um, to them is like a Pharisee. <laughs> as much as you're no, one of yeah. the nicest people in here, obviously he can memorize it, but he doesn't under, have an understanding. No, don't say that. Don't say but he doesn't he, have an understanding. Wait, wait. It's biblical what I said. I it know. Says that the, the so what, is what do you make of. So you know when Jesus says that there will be more rejoice in heaven over and he said this before the crucifixion and he, said, he also says will he will he find faith when he returns to earth now there's 2.3 billion christians but how many actually live a life 
as close as they possibly can to Christ, you know, and try and walk with him the way he walked. How many do you think? Mm -hmm. I'm sure all uh, 2.3 no, no, billion no. don't, you know. <laughs> so uh, maybe 99% of the Christians have gone astray and only 1%. But I'm sure that ain't the case, but you know, it's how, it's how, you, it's how, it's how you read it, you know. What, what, would you say there's many Christians like that who don't necessarily... Yeah, there's, there's a lot of plastic Christians, I'd say, yeah. So what would you make of Trinitarians then? Because they follow the bulk of, they make up the bulk of Christian Yeah, but, but I'm saying to you, I'm not saying to you that they're, they're really bad sinners. They, God, God only asks one thing of people, as far as I'm concerned. It's the only thing you can give him back that he's given you, and that's time. Because you know the word free didn't come from Jesus' lips. Sorry? So, so Jesus never said free. Yeah. Free? Yeah, a lot in reference to God. You're never finding the Gospels where the word free in one appears. But in the epistle of John, 1 John chapter 5, verse 7, yeah, you'll find out. free in one. Yeah. Um, but Jesus himself never said that. Um, so this goes back. So, 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 so this will go back to like... Um, you're so kind what, of Jesus. <laughs> you know, the, the, the you, you were saying there, so uh, what were you saying <laughs> there? I missed the last bit <laughs> you were saying. Uh, um, so, so Jesus, oh, yeah, the, 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 the word I, I remember Christian. That. So you yeah. know in the first King James Bible, yeah. do you accept the word Godhead, example wise, means three persons in Trinity? Do you accept the word Godhead in the dictionary that it, that is a reflection of that word. Do you yeah, that? yeah, but th that word's not in the Bible. It is in the Bible. That's what I'm saying. The me. word Godhead. Yeah, the word Godhead is three times in the New Testament and once in the Old. Okay, I, I don't know what. I can tell you where you can find it. I need to get two John. Yeah, two. What the, the second letter? The second letter of John. So I was saying to you where the word Godhead appears in the Old Testament. It's in the book of Maccabees two, chapter nine, verse twelve. And it mentions the word Godhead, and that's before Christ came. That book. Okay, yeah. And then. But I don't remember the God word Godhead yeah, in the I'm Bible. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's in this one. I can show it to oh, you. Oh, okay. You take my word for it. Or do you want me to find yeah. it? Oh. Uh, yeah, for reverence at least. Yeah, just okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me find this first word, then. then we go on to it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then it's three times in the New Testament of the King James. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Here you go. Do you want me to hold it? It's fine. I, I, I don't mind because I'm not. Oh, I can't hold it. My hands are so cold. I'm, I'm doing the same thing. My hands are so cold. Look. Uh, is this the that there are three that bear record in heaven? No, that's there are two verses. One oh, okay. has been added later, which we agreed. That that's in Matthew as well and John, but it's not about that baptizing one. in the name yeah, of God. Yeah, in the name of God. No, in oh, here. Okay. The God word Godhead um, appears in um, in the Bible. Yeah, okay. Acts one twenty. Um, It'll be interesting to see in what context. Yeah, no, sorry, Romans 1 20, Acts 17 to 29, yeah. and Philippians, okay. sorry, Colossians or Philippians 2 9. That's the three times in the King James Bible that the word Godhead is actually used. Okay, interesting. So check it out on the King James Bible. If you Google it, yeah, where yeah. King James Bible is, is the word Godhead used. In the New Testament, as you can get, it comes there, up. Right? Oh, okay. The reason why I found it because no, no one seems to have any records of that. So that's oh, okay. why I didn't think so I think, uh, Okay, go, go on. I mean, in the, the second letter of John, it says um, that the, there are many deceivers at large in the world refusing to acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in human nature, which talks about that's the incarnation. Good. They are the deceiver, they are the antichrist. Um, watch yourself or all our work will be lost and you will forfeit your full reward. If that anybody does not remain in the teaching of Christ but goes beyond it, he does not have God with him. Only those who remain in what he taught can have the Father and the Son with them. If anyone comes to you bringing a different doctrine, you must not receive him into your house or even give him a greeting. So I, I know the Muslim believe that Jesus' message is to worship one God based on certain verses, thank you. But the, the gospel message is that, you know, you become born again and receive the oh, But you know what you just read? This yeah. is in reference to those Christians who were denying that Jesus was a man or was a human. Uh, these were like so-called heretical Christians who believed that Jesus was only God 
or divine and he was only appearance as a human but he wasn't truly man so the Gnostics so we, talking yeah. about the, 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 no, no, I don't, so this I don't is, think so no, I, I, I think this it's is talking about God the incarnation God coming as a human the, because the, the, they, it's they were denying he was a man yeah, the, they you also have it in Galatians where it says if anyone gives you a different gospel yeah. let him be a curse mm -hmm. then he's got it in the book the first letter of John I think he says anyone who doesn't have the son doesn't have the father yeah. and then you got Jesus Revelation 22 I think it's verse 19 maybe where it says anyone if anyone adds, adds or takes release. away anything from this book yeah, yeah. their name is going to be right. taken out of the book of life so do you yeah so do you and this shows that there is no more further revelation from god but can i ask you uh, i don't you know, believe that so uh -huh. because that, that that particular book wasn't the last book of the bible to be written uh -huh. so like the epistles of john but, they were written after uh -huh. the book of revelation but you know in deuteronomy for example right and sorry, I didn't sorry, want to talk sorry. about that. I didn't want to talk about oh, the Quran. Oh, okay. Did you hear what he said now? Yeah, he's saying that the book of Revelation it's is not, not the, the last, last book, book of the Bible. Yeah. But I'm saying, what do you so, I, and I'm responding, yeah, oh, thank okay. you, that in, that in Deuteronomy, it also says that you shouldn't add or remove the word. And it actually, when it talks about Deuteronomy 18, 18, that the prophet should come from us, if you read the following verse, it says that if any prophet speaks, um, in the name of God, but it's not to be called, it's not from God, it should be put to death, which kind of shows um, that, you know, and we know that God never spoke to Muhammad, and they, he can't deny this because in the Quran there is nothing directly from God to Muhammad. Uh, the Quran addresses the Prophet directly, so God speaks to the Prophet uh, directly through the Quran. So no, he doesn't, he uses Jibreel. There is not even one verse in the Quran. There, there, there's many verses. I believe roughly there's about 200 verses that begin with the imperative of Qul, say, uh, like for example, say he's God the one alone, God the absolute, the eternal. No, Allah never spoke to Muhammad, if you show me. But anyway, I didn't so want like to talk about it. So like 112, Surah 112. Surah 112. Surah 112. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, but no, yeah, one, two, one, one, oh, one, you know, sort of a Yeah, yeah. But what I wanted to ask you, right? Um, so there is no further revelation in the Bible. Um, there is the, the question is so do you, you know the Bible talks about the good news. What is the good news then? What is your understanding of the good news? Yes, like, um, to believe in the kingdom of God. But what does that even mean? To uh, believe to not be an atheist? What does that even mean? The kingdom of God is uh, to do God's will on earth as it is done in heaven to submit to God's will and Islam means submission to God's will and a Muslim is someone who submits to God's will so in the Lord's Prayer Jesus defines the kingdom as may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven so you know in the, in the first three Gospels Jesus doesn't preach about himself he preaches about the kingdom of God but it's in the fourth Gospel that Jesus preaches about himself but there's no kingdom of God saying like, like um, Jesus hardly speaks about the kingdom of God. Um, like, like the word kingdom does appear on Jesus' lips, uh, but it, it means something different to what it does in the synoptics. So um, in, this, in John, Jesus says, like, my kingdom is not of this world. But in the synoptics, in the first three, Jesus says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So Jesus actually taught the disciples to pray for the kingdom to now come on earth and not just be in heaven. Mm -hmm. So John does seem to represent a like a later stage of Christianity where the message of Jesus is changed, where the, the mess that Jesus himself proclaimed the kingdom, but now Jesus is the message. So the messenger becomes the message. Oh, okay, do, do you want to end or? Because obviously we're going to have to eventually. Yeah, yeah, but but it's fine if you want to, okay. Can you get the book, the, the verse where, you know, when Jesus was born and the three men came to worship yeah, him? It's Matthew, um, that is the Matthew thing is, the, the thing is, there is no change. Um, the, the, the point is that the, all the prophets were looking forward to the day that he was coming. You know, he was prophesied as God. Um, you know that he was prophesied as being crucified in the Old Testament. You know these prophecies are in the Old Testament, right? In Psalms, in Isaiah, you know this. And then when he came... Uh, it says here, falling to their knees, they did him homage. Is that what you want? Yeah. yeah homage. And also in Hebrews 1, 
chapter verse 6, it says, God commands the angels to worship Jesus. There's nowhere in the Bible at all where God demands uh, angels to bow down and worship a man. If you find it like in 1 Chronicles uh, chapter 29 and verse what, 20, what the um, it's in reference to King David. Um, so in 1 Chronicles chapter 29 yeah. verses 20 to 23, yeah. um, King David is worshipped by the congregation along with God. Because King David sits on... God, God um, never worshipped David. No, 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 not, not de uh, God, but um, the, the congregation. So, so, so the, the, the Jews. Of the, he's only in the council, why does it have to be from God? When you say the congregation, that yeah. could be his officials and humans. He doesn't yeah. specifically say angels were him, does it? Using the term angels. No, but but the, the reference as the Son of God. So it says that the sons of God indirectly are worshipping God and King David. That, do you agree that Jesus is the word of God? Yes, yeah, so God created Jesus by his word, his command. So Jesus was born miraculously without a father. So God said be and Jesus came into existence. So he didn't exist before then. You yeah. don't believe he existed so do you, so Even do, you, in, do you know that first of all the prophets they had visions of the word of God? Do you know that? So that mm. he, he did create one two twenty nine okay. or one twenty nine. Uh, uh sorry for what, one Corinthians one uh, so one chronicles so I, chapter twenty nine verse twenty to twenty three. Oh, oh, Nazim. Nazim. Yeah, what's your name? Nazir Abdul Wasi. Abdul Wasi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, I think uh, that will be uh, it's a really shame. next week, inshallah. Uh, shame you can't stay. But <laughs> yeah, I'm We've been here for two hours. <laughs> We've been here for two hours. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, what verse is the first? Um, like verse 20, I believe. Oh, I'm not used to. Look at it here, it's down here, look. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, then he just said, your God. Yeah. And the whole assembly blessed you, God of their ancestors. God oh. of their ancestors. Angels don't have, angels don't have ancestors, do they? No, 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 this is the congregation. So David then addressed the whole assembly and, and now bless Yahweh, yeah. your, your God. Yeah. And, um, and the whole assembly bless Yahweh. God of the ancestors bowing down uh, in homage to Yahweh and to the king. Yeah, so David was king at the time. Uh, let me just read it more. So obviously that didn't make David God. That is but first, that he's is the Messiah. Like the, the, David was the Messiah. So the Messiah is given homage because he's God representative he sits on the, the seat of uh, God. When he was born, was he more of a worship or homage? Yeah, homage or obeisance. Worship him. Were they worshiping or they just Yeah they, they did homage. worship him, you know they they worshipped him when he went up to heaven, you know, it says that they worshipped him. No, 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 when he was born. Was mm -hmm. When he was born. Yeah, they case. came to worship him because he knew that the Messiah was going to be born. They were waiting for that day and they had a sign. But as for the when they just pay homage for, no? Yeah, because this Bible says hot homage. No one is blessing the assembly. Yeah. You're saying that's the assembly of the angels, that's what you're saying, yeah? No, no, I'm, oh, I'm saying this is the, the, the sons of God. So you know, it is. No, 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 I'm asking yeah. you, it doesn't say, it says, it just says the whole, the whole assembly, right? Yeah. Bless why, why is that not his own officials? What, why, why are you so confident? So, so, so that would include the officials. Um, as well as Israel. I'm saying, why yeah. would the angels right, have to be uh, in, in, in an earthly king's domain? Why would they be on earth in the first place? What are they doing there on earth? Well, well you know, in Genesis chapter six, yeah, um, it says the angel, oh, no, the, the angels, God, yeah. yeah, they saw the daughters of men, yeah. um, no, no, and they found them, and then they produced. It's also in Job as well. Oh, okay. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know about the Job. When it, when it, Sorry, in the book of Job is to do with the sons of God came and Satan also came. Are you familiar with that in Job? No, no, I, I haven't Job. read yeah. the book of Job. Yeah. Job is chapter 2, I think. Before okay. we wrap up, because I'm yeah. freezing, right? It's always, a and, um, it's always nice because you can learn can you, a lot from these gentlemen. Yeah, yeah likewise. Get, no, get the Bible, please. Yeah, I can't, 
Okay, can you get me the verses when the Word of God appeared, when we discussed this the other day? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I wanted to just... Yeah, comment you, on this. So you agree it's Genesis that Jesus 15. is the Word of God? Genesis okay. 15. But we would just disagree over the definition. Okay. Like what, what we mean or in what yeah. sense. Genesis 15, but, yeah. you see, so you probably okay. know it. I just want to read it. Verse 1. So First one is Genesis 15. Okay. Verse 1. My hands are so cold, I'm holding it over. <laughs> Sometime later, the word of Yahweh came to Abraham in a vision. Right, and then there is the other one in the, is it Samuel? Samuel 15. So we have the word of God appearing. But you know the book of Hebrews refers to the Bible as the word of God. Mm -hmm. But you don't believe Jesus is the Bible. Mm -hmm. So we have to see the context. So yeah, 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 well, of word course. of God can also yeah. mean scripture yeah. or revelation. But is, yeah, that, that, so I, in I this context, it's about yeah. he received revelation. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, you, you might. But see, it, yeah. you know, in the context when you see John, it is obviously talking about a person when the word was. You ready? Go, yeah, go on. It says here, uh, as yet Samuel had no knowledge of Yahweh, and the word of Yahweh had yet had not yet been revealed to him. So the word of Yahweh. Let's go the, to the I know. And then read the last one that I wanted to show like you. Like God's will like, hadn't yet been, that could be like God's will mm -hmm. hadn't yet been revealed okay. to him. So then or the God's final, testament. Revelation 19. The, yeah, 1913. Oh yeah, then I agree that in that context. Okay. Yeah, I think I know the verse in yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamb of God, word of God, yeah. The word yeah. of, the, these words of God are true. Is that it? No, so, 1913. Yeah, right. He, he is known by the name, the Word of God. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say that. It says that he also that, that he had clothed uh, in blood. Read the yeah, he, thing. yeah, yeah. His eyes were flames of fire. He was crowned with many coronets. The name written on him was known only to himself. His cloak was soaked in blood. He's known by the name, the Word of God. That's mm -hmm. a good one. Well done. Okay, so we have, so we have the Word of God, Jesus, which the Muslim Magi is the Word of God. Yeah. But we have him soaked in blood, okay. and we have the Word of God appearing to the prophets. Now I understand what you're saying. That obviously the Word of God can just be the Bible, but yeah. you know, it, for us, you know, Jesus is. So like, say the day you became Christian was the day when someone gave you the Word of God. So that in that context, word of God there means someone gave you the New Testament or the Bible. So what does so that it depends mean? on what, the context. So but yeah, in that context, that in reference Jesus, to Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So, so then but it, so the Old Testament examples, I would say, this refers to scripture or to revelation. Mm -hmm. But how can you have a vision of a word? Like prophecy? Mm -hmm. so, so how do you so do you so when when in John one one it talks about the word of God is that Jesus? Um, that's in relation to God's um, like God's uh, I guess His testament or will. Okay. Uh, because Jesus doesn't exist at the moment. Because when the word becomes flesh is when Jesus comes into existence. What about Hebrews 1.10? He was he who laid the foundations of the world. How can somebody who doesn't exist... Is that in reference to God? Is in Rather than to Jesus. No, it's in reference to Jesus. Okay. I can show you to you. Because it says... They would say it's a Pauline religion. <laughs> they would say no, Pauline. No. <laughs> That's why there is no point quoting anything <laughs> by Paul. Can no, they just dismiss okay. it? <laughs> I, I, I don't believe Paul was a Trinitarian. Huh? Uh, I, I don't believe Paul believed in the Trinity. There you go. Um, but there you how go, do you, how do you... It says here, mm -hmm. and the sceptre is the sceptre of justice and the uprightness and detestive. That is why God, your God, has anointed you with the gladness of the nine of you. So, so, and again, yeah, yeah. long ago, Lord, you laid earth's foundations and the heavens are the work of your hands. Yeah, so this quotation is from the Psalms. So, so this is about God in the Psalms. Yeah, um, but but if you read the verse before that, it says that the Messiah, the Anointed One, has yeah. a God. But it I'm, says, not saying, I'm not saying he doesn't have a God. What I'm saying is that all these verses here are attributed to Jesus. So, so this is in reference to Jesus being an agency. Yeah, but it says here... Uh, and also, you know, Hebrews actually refutes the idea that Jesus existed, pre-existed, 
because um, it says um, in, 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 the, in the old times, God previously spoke to us through the mouth of his prophet, but in these last days, he's now speaking to us through his son. So it means that Jesus didn't exist. And also in Hebrews chapter 1 and chapter 5, it says, to which of the angels did God say, sit at my right hand until I make it? So Hebrews is refuting the idea that Jesus was an angel and, and he pre-existed. don't think he was an angel. Do you, don't you say he's the angel, the angel of the Lord, yes. or the no, angel of Yahweh? That is a yeah, so who, but Hebrews is saying he's not. So who, who do you think is the angel of the Lord? Because again, he yeah. was worshipped. There is a messenger. But why would sent. they worship him? That, 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 Which that's verse a, do you hear the same? There, there are many. Joshua, I think, when the, the, the commander of the army, army. But there are many verses and where. Also, Sam, in the, that, in the book of uh, Judges. Samson. Yeah, yeah um, even Gideon. in G Gideon, the, 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 I think the trouble is with kind of the Muslim's perspective on Jesus is that um, you have all these verses of the angel of the Lord appearing where people worshipped him and you have the disciples appearing and worshipping and let's say mm -hmm. if that was shit, then but you know, In your translation it says homage, the paid in homage. So you know like in, in um, even in the courts today, uh, we address the judge as your worship, or his worship, or we may well, refer to, or regular, his lordship. So this is like language. Uh, but, but, but there were times in the Old Testament when this angel appeared, and I think it was even uh, Gideon's parents, that Gideon, sorry, his parents were, they were like, oh no, we've seen God, oh, we're going to die. Samson, Samson's or parents. Samson. So they, they acknowledged that they have seen something divine, you know, someone divine, and they, they would die, and they said, no, you're not going to die, or you have Jacob that yeah, fought yeah. with God. How, there were so many examples. How do you explain yeah, that? Yeah, so look, these are like agency type verses. So the example of Jacob wrestling with an angel in the book of Hosea in chapter 12 or uh, chapter 11, it says that Jacob wrestled with an angel. The angel is like the medium or agency. So it's like um, in the book of Deuteronomy, um, it says Jehovah or Yahweh, your God, gave, gave you the land. But then in the book of Joshua, it says Moses gave you the land. Or when Jesus is in John chapter 7, Moses who gave you circumcision, even though long before Moses, it was actually God who gave, the, gave Abraham circumcision. So when Jesus says Moses gave you circumcision, it doesn't mean that Jesus believed that Moses was God. It just means Moses is a representative or agent of God. So by saying Moses gave you circumcision indirectly, you're not denying that it was God who gave you circumcision, but it was through Moses, the agency. Can I ask you a question now, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Now you know if the New Testament had 300 pages and they only had three lines. Okay. Jesus is the Son of God. Yeah. He died, he's going to die, and he's going to be risen again. And if that's all it had for 300 pages continuously, <laughs> nothing else, and let's say it's the same amount of authors, eight authors, and it, that's all it had, would you believe that as being true? Or would your faith in Islam prevent you from doing that because God, Allah does not have a son, so you can't accept that, even if it was there for 300 pages continuously, nothing else at all, just that... You can, it depends in what sense. So if you say Jesus is the son of God, do you the only, mean... The only son of God. I'll, I'll rephrase that. Yeah. Jesus is the eternal son of God. Yeah, then... And he died and rose again. He will die and be risen again. And Jesus signed all of this 2,000 years ago before it actually happened and left that behind with all his signature on it and that was presented to you as evidence in paper yeah. with the actual writing. The only thing is the Bible doesn't say that. No, the, I'm asking you, no, what I'm, asking, I'm not saying it The Bible does, doesn't say he's the, the eternal does, son of the, God. The, the, the Bible does say... It's more the, of an interpretation no, or Bible, reading. The, 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 as Christians we believe that, that Jesus is, is the eternal son of God. That's what we believe. Yeah, as and I respect that. That's, that's your fine. belief. That's yeah. fine. I'm just saying we believe that he died and rose again. What I'm saying is, if that was in black and white for you like that, for 300 pages, could, could you, not would you, could you accept that as being 100% true? I, I would accept that it says that, but whether no, no. it's true or that's not, what I'm asking you. It, I, I'm, I, I'll be willing to dis discuss it. Mm -hmm. 
whether it's, it's not, true not or not. It's for you uh -huh. to make your mind up, not with an individual. Yeah. You have to draw the, come to the conclusion. But you, is have it to, the you have to have reason no, as to why you believe what you believe. No, but you have to tell us a reason why it wouldn't be true, not why it yeah, is Yeah, I agree, yeah. And could you go I, against I, I, that for, if it was 300 pages like that? So for, uh, but, yeah, I would say we will have to look at the facts, we have to look at the history yeah. and whether it makes sense. I think, the, the, I think the issue that I have, because obviously we have to, and by the way this is for you, there's a little coin we have where it says oh, wow. that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved, that's from Acts 16, 51, and then in Corinthians well, Muslims do believe in Jesus. Yeah, no, but I think I think the issue that I have is this. I think Thank the issue you. that I have is because I recognise there are people who are Unitarians that read the same Bible and they mm -hmm. don't see Jesus as God, right? So we have to accept that. But the issue I have is that the Bible repeatedly tells you that you know the Messiah will come, he will be crucified and resurrected, and this has happened, and you have the accounts, and it's repeated over and over again. And the issue that I have is how the Quran says it looked like he was crucified, but he was not. And when you know that in Christianity, that's the way to salvation. Now that doesn't make sense to me. If you said to me, I believe in the Bible, but I don't see Jesus as God, I would think, okay, I disagree. But to say that he wasn't even crucified when it's in the accounts, how do you explain that as a Muslim? Because what is the point of, let's say, Allah putting him on the cross? What, what is the point of that then? I, I, I wouldn't say that Allah willed him to be crucified or put him on the cross. Um, but I, 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 I would say that this was the wrongdoings of the, those people that rejected Christ, uh, who tried to have him crucified. Uh, but God rescued Jesus and raised him up to himself in, in a way that best known to God. Um, and, and even um, according to the Gospels as well, Pontius Pilate was amazed that Jesus had died so soon because he knew from experience that it took a while for a person to be killed by crucifixion and Jesus was only on the cross for a few hours. Um, so it's possible that Jesus didn't actually die on the cross but was taken down in some kind of a coma and then placed in the tomb and then from the tomb raised up into heaven like Enoch or Elijah in the Bible. But why, and why? then God showed a vision to the disciples uh, that Jesus is alive and the disciples went out and proclaimed that God raised him from the dead meaning in a metaphorical sense just like in, Is in the case of Isaac in the book of Hebrews in chapter 11 verse 19 um, it says that Isaac was raised from the dead in a metaphorical sense because Isaac was close to death but God rescued him and so, in a metaphorical sense, he was raised from the dead. Yeah, I mean, the only... Say, and they say he was dead, that like, Yeah, I mean, huh? When you said that there was time he was on Jesus, and they showed that he was dead. Yeah, um, it's in the Gospel. The thing is, to me, and I, I'll be... I'll be just, good. Um, huh? Is it okay if I just let my friends know that... Um, if they want You're to... Done. If they, no, not that I'm nearly yeah. done. Um, I, I, I still got time. Um, I, I'm to stay, but I just want to tell them not to wait for me. Oh, like right, if so they want to leave, this fine. Yeah. I'm nearly done because I'm oh, freezing. Okay. I'm just, sorry, so uh, shall I give you the last word then? Yeah. Yeah. I do, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll no, listen the, to what the, you have I, to say. I tell you, yeah. like, because obviously, I, I, I believe that the reason why, you know, the, I believe that the Quran is not from God. It's from a fallen angel, and obviously, the reason why they have to highlight in the Quran that Allah doesn't have a son and he wasn't crucified is because that's what you need to be saved in Christianity. And it doesn't make sense. I, I hear what you're saying that God, you, they believe that God rescued him, but it's, it's very clear in the gospel that Jesus died and he died. Yeah, had to I can't die. deny that. Yeah, so, it does I, say that in the, new, in the New Testament. Saved. And yeah. this is what you need to be saved. Mm -hmm. And that's why um, I think there is an emphasis that he wasn't crucified. My, my, my view is that Jesus prophesied the Son of Man, and I, I believe that Son of Man was the Prophet Muhammad who fulfilled that prophecy. Uh, because when Jesus sometimes speaks about the Son of Man, he seems to be speaking about another to so come after him. you think the Son of Man is actually Muhammad? That's yeah, the first I time believe I heard that. he fulfilled that, yeah. Okay. Um, you can check out a video um, by Ali Ataya. Um, it's, if you just have Ali Ataya, Son of Man, um, you'll be able to find it on a YouTube channel called Blog and Theology. And, um, and you don't have to agree, but um, you can just no, say it. No, it's good. Right, I, yeah. I appreciate we need to look into But Thank you. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. No worries. Thank you yeah. so much. Uh, thank we'll you. We'll speak again, yeah? Cool. Thank you.